cloudy, folks. Actually, I remember you are a little blurry. Let me let me wipe you. Hopefully that helps. Howdy, folks. I don't know if you can see the brownness. Brown, say something. Show your eyes. I am in Columbus, working, working at the Nordstrom Rack, and uh, man, these temp jobs. Seriously underrated for just decent decent pay. And the thing is, like, everyone is short-staffed everywhere. So, like, they're just happy to have your help. You're new, so if you fuck up, no one really can't. They can't yell at you. So, like, you kind of just go in there. And they're not going to give you some high-level... These are, like, so much better than an actual job. like Or being hired full-time where pretty soon they expect you to know stuff. Like, I'm literally manning the fitting rooms, which is easy. And now I'm on the floor just picking up clothes that fall, and I'm getting paid, like, $17 an hour? Sweet. It's like, yeah. And I'm pretty sure the wages are only going to go up, because they are like, if it wasn't for me, they would have probably just had to shut down for the day. I mean, that's not true, but there's not that many people working. And all the workers are talking about quitting or going to Walmart, so. For a while, in this transition of whatever's happening in the civilization, like universal basic income, or whatever's going to come of this, it's also like the only companies that are going to survive is going to be like the bigger ones, I guess. I don't know. But for now... I, I saw 26 an hour in Pittsburgh for food prep, which, fuck yeah, I'll definitely do that. In a, it's in a cold room, so I guess people don't want to do it, but man, I am built for that. Give me a, another couple weeks for my beard come, come in, I'll be, like I'm sweating in there and it's like air conditioned, but yeah. I mean, temping is nice as long as it's a change of pace all the time. Constant differentness. Hey. Oh, yeah, so this guy, we got up about, man, I, like, just passed out last night. I fell asleep at the first Cracker Barrel at, like, 9. I was like, I'll just take a nap till, or it was, like, 8 till they close. And I slept till like midnight and I got up and their power outlet didn't work and it was just loud and there was so many RVs so I left. And as I was leaving a cop rolled through the parking lot and I was like, good thing I'm leaving. I don't get stoked to see cops. It doesn't make me feel safe. And I made it up to the next Cracker Barrel and there was still a couple RVs but they were spaced out so and the power outlet worked. What did I do? Oh, I updated music on my iPod for Pittsburgh, working that other gig, the night shift, so I'll have more jams. And I edited some videos and then fell asleep at like 2.30, woke up at 5, unplugged my power, fell back asleep till like 10, and then got up at 10, and Leo just... Hopped out of the trailer, and then I just shut the trailer and went in and made coffee in the van. Usually he follows me within a couple minutes into the van, but he didn't. He booked it to the cornfield. I mean, yeah, there was birds chirping and shit, so. And then I tried to get him back, but there was some, the manager was having like a phone call meeting. And Leo was like, I don't want any of that shit. Luckily, I ha only had like ten minutes to spare. And he got in the van, and I just vroom vroomed out of there. It's, I don't know. There's also, they said it was going to be a half hour unpaid lunch, but it's an hour, which I'm okay with, but there's just a lot of, like, communication disconnect in this app, but it's sweet. It's definitely awesome.
just want to update you on that and we'll see how tonight goes it's gonna might be a push to get to jiu-jitsu either all-nighter and then I gotta push through it or because it's like three and a half hours to Pittsburgh so jiu-jitsu's 10 to noon I think or maybe 11 to 1 so I don't know I'll have to, I gotta work sleep in somewhere Definitely sore as fuck. My arms and shoulders, I guess, from lifting heavy metal pieces. I don't know. I don't know how people walk around just not getting jacked. Like, maybe because they don't do stupid things like I do. Like, pick up more than one of heavy things. I'm always like, one? How about I'll pick up four? And then I'm like, alright, four was heavy. But it's like a workout. And you only had to walk once instead of four times. I'm picking up like five of those Christmas tree things. Like doing like an upright row with them. Like who, who does that? Uh, yeah, I like interacting with people in here. I don't know. Just tripping people out sometimes with the things I say. <laughs> and then I just... Other people I don't even really have to talk to if I don't. I can like turn it on and then... It, 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 it. Overall pretty friendly people. And respectable. If it was like a Ross, that would have been way worse. Nordstrom Rack. Good call. Some of their shit is expensive, man. Um, man, gas is retardedly expensive here. Yeah, I almost ran out of gas driving to the next. Because, man, my like last quarter tank just zips through. I ended up having to pay like 378 or something. And there was like pumps that were shut down. I had to drive back. I was like, fuck. But I found 330 here. I'm like, alright, that's better. Sometimes you get on those interstates and they just gouge you or something. But the minute you get into the city, it's cheaper. I just I feel like gas will just keep getting higher and higher as I go more east coast. This is the way to do it, though, man. I can train, then I can work. Instead of having to get a job that, like, works with my training schedule or vice versa, try to squeeze my training in around a job schedule, I just do it myself. Like, it's sweet. Mildly addicting. I don't know why. I, I could see myself just working like a shit ton trying to get the top record. Like, I, I watch a YouTuber guy, and he's in Austin, and he uses the electric bikes to do Grubhub. And on average, he makes around 20 an hour, he said, depending on good days or whatever. And I was like, holy shit, I'm going to go there and do that. But now I'm like, this is kind of better. I'm not saying I wouldn't do that. My bike, I actually thought about it. It's like suited up to do like Grubhub. Now that I have the saddlebags and stuff. And if I could, so if I could find like a dope city with a 10th planet and a work for a campsite job, 
but work like very part time or did like woof. And then did these jobs. That would be the life. I'm just rambling at this point. But we'll talk soon. Bye.